combat area. 621. New enemy confirmed. That's... That's a red gun's AC! Escorting a prison break all alone. You're daring, I'll give you that. But I've fried bigger fish than you. That's gun to Nile. The Red Gun's deputy commander, and the brains to Michigan's muscle. It's too dangerous to force our way through. Raven, secure the escape route. Lost your nerve? Pathetic Gun 13. What did Michigan see in you? <sighs> no wonder Michigan took a shine to you. Confirmed. Gun 2 Nile is down. Well done, 621. Hey everybody, welcome back. We're looking at another build that's that we're going to be improving today uh, from within the game. We're looking at G2 Nile this time. Yeah, I'm not really going in any, any specific quarter. <laughs> I just wanted to do Nile because, I don't know, I just wanted to. I didn't really have a reason. But anyhow, uh, we'll go ahead and get into his a little bit of, a little bit of background with him. You see him during the prison break mission. You actually fight him during the prison break mission, uh, which makes absolute sense for his character considering Deputy Commander of the Red Guns, the Balaam Group AC Squad, former the commander of the Balaam Security Force, a paramilitary police organization that preceded the formation of the Red Guns. He was a cop. There you go. Niall distinguished himself with an exceptionally high arrest rate, and in those days, the only man he never managed to put in handcuffs was Michigan, the then commander of the rival Furlong Armed Fleet. Having failed to arrest the man, he instead settled for a friendly drink with his old nemesis. Kind of a strange path to go after failing to arrest the man you were trying to arrest, but whatever. I've heard of weirder things happening. G2 Nile is basically uh, Michigan's second-hand man at this point. As you can see, Michigan is G1 of the same group, and he pilots an AC that is kind of heavy known as Deep Down. And what you see now on the screen is Deep Down's original build. Let's go ahead and shove that up into the corner real quick so you can still have a reference, because we didn't really change very much this time. We changed a little. And speaking of not changing much, we didn't change very much at all on the missiles. We're well, weapons. I say missiles because he's mostly missiles. <laughs> Hands, left the arms the same. On his back, we did change out the dual homing missile for the dual splits. And not even the, the regular dual splits. We went with the P-19 SPL-12. Could have went with the SPL-16, but I wanted the 12. I just kind of like it. And I even left the vertical launcher alone. Although, I probably should have changed it. <laughs> but it has its use, especially when you're using another style missile alongside it. His head is a HD-011 Meleander, and his core is a BD-011 Meleander. But then his arms and his legs are both of the DF, uh, the Dafang influence of the Tian Lao and the Tian Kang. The arms are the Tian Lao, and the legs being the Tian Kang, obviously, giving him kind of a squatty, wide stance, and also making him extremely slow. And in that case, we have to actually change the booster out and put make the booster into a PO6 speed and also we had to change out the generator because the generator was still just a little too heavy to, to allow him to break over 300 and uh, I have a personal rule I don't like going less than 300 on boost speed and he just barely broke past the 301 also we changed out the FCS from the missile oriented FCS I think it was actually no it was the SLT uh, to the PO5 my personal favorite one as I'm sure you are aware of just for that medium range assist being maxed out you spend most of your time in the medium range face it and he still has the pulse armor for the expansion now let's go ahead and uh put him up against someone in the uh arena and put him up against some people in the nest hope you enjoy main system activating combat mode
Target destroyed. Concluding evaluation. Well done.
Alright, well, I hope you all enjoyed. If you did, leave a like, subscribe, and come back for more. It's time I take G2 Nile and go deep down and take care of a small problem known as Honest Brute. Once and for all.